Hello everyone, this is Mark with Mark's Max Muscle, and we are looking at Dexter the Blade Jackson and Evan Senapani. This is them at the 2011 Flex Pro Championships, and the question in front of all of us right now is, how in the heck did Dexter Jackson lose to Evan Senapani? Evan Senapani won this event, a prestige for him, probably one of his biggest wins, of course, and Dexter Jackson placed second. And I have to say, judging from the front relaxed position, it is, or there is nothing wrong with Dexter Jackson's physique. He looks like he brought his classic usual condition. Evan Senapone, he is in good condition, mind you, but he lacks that balance, the upper and lower body. Don't get me wrong, he has a good set of legs, but they do not match his upper body whatsoever, structurally, and when you look at Dexter Jackson, he flows just to a T. We have no rear relaxed, unfortunately. Jump right into the muscularity round. And I have to say, guys, I definitely would have a problem with the judgment so far now. Dexter the Blade Jackson, some of the best arms in bodybuilding history. Look at those biceps, triceps, not bad at all. And Evan Senapani. Let's face it, guys. He has not the most... Pleasing biceps, aesthetically speaking, I hate to be mean to the guy, but they just lack that muscle separation, those quality arms, and the waistline, not as cinched in as Dexter's. Now, the front lat spread, I will go ahead and give a point, or a, I guess it's a, a ghost point here, to Evan Senapani. There was no, and I searched, there was no front, rela or front lat spreads for Dexter the Blade Jackson, and I did look at other versions this year and years before and after and they were basically the same and I still would have had Evan winning that pose not the best for Dexter now we go into the side poses and things are not looking good for me agreeing with the judges now keep in mind I do see the calves there Evan has an awesome set you see that or at least one of them and it's not a bad pose he's good and dry but so is Dexter, and like I said from the very get-go, look at those proportions. The waistline, the lag, the upper body. Dexter is displayed so perfect here. I love Dexter's side chest pose. So I would definitely personally give him a point in this pose. Now the side tricep, a little harder to judge, much like the front lat spread. There was no hit to spec side tricep for Dexter. This is what he was giving us. Now, Evan did have several, and they were all pretty good, but he was also obliging here, or, and he is willing to throw up this pose here against Dexter, and he is clearly winning. So, I think it is a just decision, and Evan does get the side tricep. Now, turn these bodybuilders, these incredible physical specimens around, and I can see there is definitely... A subpar quality of Dexter's glutes when you compare him with other versions and I think the judges did see that I mean as is his conditioning is probably equal considering his back looks like a much tighter conditioning than Evan Senapani's but Evan Evan is definitely winning in the glute department but like I said compare this with any other version and Dexter the Blade Jackson's glutes are peeled totally peeled Compared to this one, a little bit soft, but still, guys, he's winning in the back development, in my opinion. Not the calves, though. Go to the next back shot, next back pose, and Evan does appear to be a little drier, I think. So his conditioning, it might be a little tighter. He may have won the rear relaxed in the symmetry round. It is hard to say. He actually looks quite good in a pose like this, does Evan. Nice V taper. I would say he is beating Dexter in this shot. Not in the rear lat, though. And Dexter was probably already winning, heading into the back shots, back poses, rather. But that's just me. Ab and thigh. This is an easy victory. Dexter is definitely picking up a point in the ab and thigh pose. Back in this day and age, I mean, Dexter Jackson from, oh, I don't know, whenever he started bodybuilding, 1980s? I don't know. He definitely started early, up until... Most recent years, his ab and thigh was a very dangerous pose up on the bodybuilding stage, even today, even today. His ab and thigh is definitely getting a victory against a very conditioned 
Evan Senapani, I will say, but structurally speaking, it's just not enough to defeat this dream wrapped in a blanket in Dexter the Blade Jackson. Let's finish this one off. Is it controversial? Is it not controversial? Well, I guess it's my call. I did say, well, this this most muscular, first of all, we'll get this out of the way. Dexter's a smaller, maybe better version here. I could see most people giving this one to Evan, I guess. He's a little bit bigger. He's taller, of course. But it's pretty even in the most muscular. So, is there controversy? Is there not controversy? Personally, I would give a victory to Dexter the Blade Jackson. But, much like some of my matches, like the most previous one with Dwayne Walker, Rafael Brandeo, it probably, the judges would have given it to Rafael Brandeo because of the conditioning edge. And I can see them giving the decision, the, the overall decision, rather, to Evan Senapani, but not me, guys. I am going ahead with Dexter the Blade Jackson. I think he was doing enough in the front, the sides, things of that nature, and he was definitely winning in the ab and thigh, and it was close in the back. So I don't disagree with the judges. I can see what they're seeing, the conditioning. But I favor Dexter the Blade Jackson, and so do many other judges over the years. We prefer his physique. It's a nice physique, very pleasing to the eye. Anyway, guys, that's my personal preference. Hit thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram. Have a great day, guys.